How are we doing guys? And well, this is a bit of an impromptu video. This video is to confirm that Leeds United have announced the signing of Junior Firpo from Barcelona in a deal worth around 15 million-ish, something like that. Again, the full fee is to be confirmed. I think 13.8 million off the top of my head. It's something like that. Either way, we have done an absolute bargain here. We've brought in a left back from Barcelona. I never thought I'd see the day on this channel or supporting Leeds United where I'd be able to announce on this channel that we signed someone from Barcelona. Unfortunately, it's not Messi. Unfortunately, it's not Messi. But we've got the second best thing to lean on Messi, Junior Firpo at left back. Allow a little bit of, you know, exaggeration. It, just allow it, just allow it. But in all seriousness, guys, this guy is a top, top talent. Junior Firpo, 24 years of age from Barcelona. Fantastic signing. And, and this caught me a little bit off guard, this video. I'm not going to lie. I had to um, put together a couple of notes. I have seen Firpo play a couple of times. But I'm just going to go through a little bit of that anyway in this video. But we're going to do plenty of other videos on Junior Firpo as well. So, first and foremost, left back, 24 years of age, from the Dominican Republic, but plays, well, has played for the Spanish national team under 21s and most of his international football so far for the Spanish national team. And look, I think it's already been said um, by various journalists in Spain that under Marcelo Bielsa, there is a good chance that Junior Firpo will be Spain's starting left-back at the next World Cup, which is only 18 months away. There's massive confidence that Marcelo Bielsa is going to get the very best out of Firpo. And I'm 100% with that as well. Um, Firpo has already worked with a similar type of manager in Kike Setien um, at um, Real Betis. Kike Setien, sorry, um, at Real Betis. Um, enjoyed a very successful spell with um, Setien and that's what actually initially interested Barcelona. At 22 years of age, he moved on to Barcelona. So there's clearly a lot about this player. You know, to play for Betis, Barcelona and be recognised as a Spanish international suggests there's a lot of talent there. And I've seen with my own eyes, this player is a very talented footballer. As it's always the regular joke on this channel, I'm a massive fan of Spanish football. So I'm going to give you a quick take of what we can expect from Junior Firpo. Um, so you probably saw me on the Just Joe channel um, last week. But again, at that time, I was still 50-50 about whether this was really going to happen. There has been links to Firpo to AC Milan. But look, we're beating AC Milan to it. We're beating AC Milan to it. Like Don Matteo in the box in 2000, we're beating AC Milan to the ball or Junior Firpo. Again, that probably sounded completely mixed up. You got what I meant, guys. You got what I meant. Um, it's a fantastic piece of business from us. Um, so what can we expect from Firpo? Again, left back slash left wing back who can also play as a left sided centre back in the back three. He is very, very versatile, which is straight away ticking a lot of boxes for Marcelo Bielsa, as we all know. Um, I think he's best as a left wing back, if I'm being totally honest. I think he's more... I think he's got to where he's got so far in his career, more for his attacking qualities. He's a fantastic early crosser of the ball, particularly good at fizzing the ball across the ground into the front or back post. Very good at making overlapping runs ahead of his winger. I think him, him and Jack Harrison will have a very interesting dynamic. Um, and you know, look, I know our record with left backs isn't great. <laughs> I think that's putting it mildly. Uh, it's been a long time since we've really had a solid left back. Um, and that's just the, the, the way it is, has been for us. But I think in this sign of Firpo is a very intelligent piece of business from Victor Orta. Um, I think he's already got the experience of playing for a big club. I mean, you, you can't really get much bigger than Barcelona. Yeah, you can actually, Leeds United. But he's already had that slight step up um, in terms of you know, knowing the pressure that comes from playing in this league. And in front of us, you know, look, it's, it's going to be a lot of pressure on the early doors. Um, he's replacing a, to say the least, a cult hero at Leeds United and Gianni Alioski. So there's of, automatically a little bit of pressure with that. But yeah, there's enough quality there for me to say Firpo is a very good footballer. Um, as I've already said, he's good going forward. Technically, I think he's very sound as well. I think he's better at playing under a press than Gianni Alioski. You know, I think we've seen with Alioski, he's made a couple of mistakes under pressure that have cost us goals, you know, over the season where he's just kind of given the ball away in dangerous areas. When he's had that little bit of pressure from the opposition, I think Firpo is more ready to cope with that. Yeah, I think he's more ready to cope with that. I just think he's a technically better footballer. And that's no disrespect to Gianni Alioski, but we have made an upgrade here for me in this area. And I think we definitely have made an upgrade in this area. For me, he's got the potential to be 
one of the best left backs in the league and I don't say that lightly I genuinely do think he's got that potential you know he's already showing fantastic potential already in his career and now he's working under one of the best managers in the world in Marcelo Bielsa in that man there we'll get the very best out of him we know that's going to happen so there's no nerves for me about this signing you know I've seen a couple of mentions of are we going to get a second left back in in case Junior Firpo doesn't settle in or if there's a loss of form etc etc but I have 100% confidence that Junior Firpo can play 38 games for this football club. Now, a lot of people will point to his lack of game time at Barcelona. His problem at Barcelona is not his technical quality, his quality as a footballer, or what he does on a football pitch. His problem at Barcelona was Jordi Alba, one of the best left-backs of the last 15-20 years. It is no shame on Junior Firpo that he didn't play a lot of games for Barcelona. It is all down to Jordi Alba. Because I've seen a couple of little negative comments about him, mainly from the Barcelona side of things, more than anything, to be honest, um, in terms of, he, look, it didn't work out for him at Barcelona, but the problem was Jordi Alba. And it's fair enough, he couldn't get game time ahead of Jordi Alba. Um, but ultimately, what are his weaker areas of his game? Probably defensively. Um, and that's maybe not something that we really want to hear, because a lot of people were critical of, myself included, were critical of Charlie Alioski defensively as well. But yeah, I think that's one area of his game that I think will really improve under Marcelo Bielsa. Um, yeah, I don't think he's so much a bad 1v1 defender. He's a good tackler. Um, physically, you know, I remember a game against PSG, uh, PSG Barcelona, earlier last season, Champions League, I think it was, Champions League last 16, I believe, um, where Fierpo was up against Kylian Mbappe. He did a fantastic job against him. He coped with Mbappe's pace. Uh, physically, you know, he, co he copes with the challenge. I don't think there's any problem in that sense. I just think positionally, because he likes to push forward so much, he can sometimes be caught out of position. But that's the nature of a modern-day fullback. So that's not something that concerns me too much. All in all, I am very, very happy with this signing. Um, AC Milan are fuming, which is always good, to be fair, and hilarious. I've um, seen a couple of comments for AC Milan fans in the last week or so. How can he turn down AC Milan? Well, he has done because of Marcelo Bielsa. It's a simple fact. Um, because he sees... this is, At the end of the day, Junior Firpo, this shows how far we've gone as a football club. AC Milan finished second in Serie A last season. They were very close to taking the title off their rivals into Milan. Um, I think that's like six points behind them. He saw his career progressing more with Marcelo Bielsa and a team mid-table in the Premier League than AC Milan. That sums up where we are as a football club. Now, you could talk about the Premier League's a massive appeal, etc., etc., but at the end of the day, we can attract top quality footballers now. We've already seen Rafinha turn up, we've already seen Rodrigo turn up, but I think there's a difference with Firpo. The fact he's playing for an elite club already, you know, he's at a good age. You know, it's, there's a lot of factors behind this, and of course, we've got him for a good fee. I think the big part of that is Barcelona's financial crisis at this moment in time, as we've managed to take advantage of that. I'm not going to lie, I wouldn't mind just getting a few more players in Barcelona if we could, or any other club in La Liga for that matter. You know, I'm sure Real Madrid, Valencia might need to have another fire sale as well at some point, so I think we should take advantage of that situation. But Firpo, as I've already said, is the second best player from Barcelona. You know I'm messing, guys, you know I'm messing. But um, but yeah, I'm just seeing if there's any any um, anything else I want to touch on here. I mean, look, we've got to say with Victor Orta as well, he's been, been extremely decisive, as he has been throughout his time at Leeds United on getting these deals over the line and I can see easily why Marcelo Bielsa was probably impressed with him when the shoot presumably Victor Orta approached Marcelo Bielsa with the prospect of bringing in Fierpo as a Gianni Alioski replacement. Fierpo again I think in terms of personality comes across really well um, yeah I think he was a popular teammate in Barcelona in that kind of sense um, and yeah, yeah I think he is extremely extremely suited to a Marcelo Bielsa style of football of course I don't think any player arrives Bielsa levels of fitness um, or has that Bielsa level of fitness rather but I think Firpo has got the attitude I think he's got the hunger now um, I think he's seen you know the level he can reach he's obviously Barcelona already and let's see if, if he can reach those levels again and I'm confident he can as I've said he's already worked under a manager similar to Marcelo Bielsa and Kike Setien at Real Betis scored loads of goals lo got loads of assists did superbly at left wing back, but of course it's probably more likely that he will play it as a left back in the back four in this team, which is fine for me. Yes, initially, I know who we've got on that first day of the season. He might be up against Jaden Sancho on that first game of the season. It might be a, it might take a little bit of time for him to get used to this league and this system. But I've got no doubt that Junior Firpo is going to be a very, very good signing for this football club. 
no doubt about it. Um, yeah, well, look at look at who, who have already signed from the Liga. You know, we've had massive success for them. Rodrigo, Diego Llorente. You know, they've already been massive successes. And I think he's got the technical quality to really be a successful player in this team. No doubt about it. Um, I'm repeating myself a lot here, aren't I? But as I said, guys, this isn't really a planned video. I'm just basically just saying things that come into my head about Junior Firpo, um, as you can probably see. Anything else to add? No, probably not. But he's a very, very good signing, and we need to get on board with it. Guys, let us know in the comments down below your thoughts on us signing Junior Firpo. I've got a couple of other videos planned on this one. As I've already said, his main strengths are attacking, going forward, creating chances. He will score goals for this Leeds team. You can quote me on that. He will score goals for this Leeds team, and he will and he will bag plenty of assists as well. He's a very creative player to have on this team. He overlaps his wingers very well. And he's just a very, very good footballer. Um, and let's see how it goes. I think in terms of playing left wing back, I think he's definitely the best option we've got. Um, I think he gives us that real natural width on that, on that left wing back spot. And it'll be interesting to see how he links up with the other players. I can see him having a good link up with Rafinha. You know, he plays a lovely diagonal balls from left to right. A little bit like Liam Cooper. He's very, very good at doing that as Junior Firpo. Um, and that's just a little observation, but there will be plenty of other videos coming out on Junior Firpo from this channel. Uh, we're going to be doing a little look at his statistics in terms of what the numbers show about Junior Firpo. Trying to get a Barcelona fan's view of Junior Firpo and just a general review of how he will fit into this Leeds United team. But this is to confirm that Junior Firpo has signed for Leeds United. I'm not sure exactly what the fee is for, but it's a bargain either way. And I'm going to leave it there, guys. See you later.